Lazy cats can be adorable. However, even the laziest of cats need their fair share of exercise, just like the rest of us. Among other things, playtime can provide exercise and mental stimulation for your furry friend. In addition to staying physically fit and managing their weight, your cat actually needs playtime to keep their brain active and reduce anxiety. Let's face it, most domestic cats live a pretty luxurious existence in this area. They have no need to hunt for food or evade dangerous predators. For some cats, this could mean they aren't getting the mental and physical stimulation they need. The good news? Even the laziest of cats can be tempted into playing, chasing, or pouncing on something. All it takes is a nudge in the right direction. So there's no need to give up on your furry couch potato. Keep watching this video to find out some ideas for much needed playtime. But first of all, let's discuss how much exercise your cat really needs. To keep your pet healthy, try and play with her for about 10 to 15 minutes a few times per day. You can be strategic with this. For example, it's a good idea to tire your cat out before you go to bed. That way, she'll be tired and sleepy, which means there's a smaller chance of her waking you up at night. As many of you know, buying toys for your cat can be harder than it seems. It can be particularly disheartening if your cat has a track record of losing interest in them. And bonus points if your cat prefers the box over the toy itself. But on the positive side, this just shows how easy it is to entertain a cat, which means you don't have to keep shelling out cash on expensive toys. Sometimes, reintroducing an old toy can be as effective as buying a new one. Once your cat starts losing interest in a toy, you can lock it away for a few weeks or even a few months. By cycling your cat's toys, you'll be able to keep your cat active without spending any extra money. But some cats, particularly the couch potato variety, can still be difficult to entice by toys. One possible way to appeal to a stubborn cat is by finding a toy with a built-in incentive. Food puzzles are a great example of this. They are essentially reward toys that provide your cat with positive reinforcement for being smart. This type of toy will also help their natural hunting instinct to kick in and keep them occupied for longer. Food puzzles are widely available, but if you're interested in making your own, check out the DIY cat toy video on this channel. All you need is a paper towel roll and a pair of scissors, so why not give it a try? Another popular multifunctional cat toy is the scratching post. In addition to keeping your furry friend active, scratching posts may keep her from ruining your furniture. Talk about a win-win. Cats love to scratch for many reasons, to stretch their bodies, to polish their claws, or just for fun. Many scratching posts also double as multi-story play gyms. These are known as cat trees or cat towers because, well, they resemble both of these things. The height and level allows your kitty to jump, climb, sit, and hide out in the commonly attached cubby holes. Many cat trees or scratching posts also come with a toy or two attached to it. After all, the post provides just the right height for dangling a toy from. You might even like to hang some rope down the length of the post so your cat can hang on it and stretch. As promised, let's discuss some games you can initiate with your cat. After all, cats love things that move because it stimulates their hunting instinct. Laser pointers are a favorite of many cat owners. The best part is that you don't even have to get off the couch in order to use one. Meanwhile, your furry friend will be getting quite the workout, and you get a solid chunk of quality entertainment. Still, you might think laser pointers seem great, but are they safe? The answer is yes for the most part. Just be mindful not to shine the laser directly into your cat's eyes. If that happens by accident, there's no need for alarm. Just be mindful of this during your next play session. Additionally, since a laser pointer can get into virtually any part of the house, it's important to avoid any areas that haven't been cat-proofed. A cat jumping over stacked chairs or cardboard boxes might look funny on YouTube, but it definitely belongs in the don't try this at home category. Lastly, though many cats will settle down after some laser play, some cats get agitated by the fact that they can never win with the laser. It can be good to finish playtime with a game your cat can win, something that can be caught and conquered. Wrap up a good play session with toys like a feather wand or a stuffed toy mouse. That way your cat can pounce on their prey and feel a sense of satisfaction. Last but not least, an underrated activity that is loved by cats and human alike is hide and seek. Your cat is sure to love the challenge and will view this as a hunting mission. There are two ways of approaching this game. First off, consider hiding your cat's food in different places around the home. You don't want to make this game too difficult but keep it a little challenging. You can always monitor your cat when you first give this game a try. This way, you can adjust the difficulty level depending on the results. Second of all, you can actually try playing real hide and seek. 
Call out to your cat regularly so they can hear your voice and know you're still there. Start with just a few minutes at a time. Keep trying this in small spurts with lots of vocal communication until they get the hang of it. When you find each other, make a big deal of it so your cat feels rewarded. Cats also enjoy small, comforting hiding places like boxes. So let them hide in a box and then act surprised when they emerge. You can also make a blanket fort for your cat to run around in. Use an old bed sheet and throw it over a few boxes or toys. Your cat will then be able to hunt her toys with the added challenge of finding them under the covers. While plenty of activity and stimulation is essential for a healthy, happy cat, so is a nutritious diet. Always make sure your cat is eating a healthy, balanced diet in order to be their most active self. Dry cat food alone just doesn't cut it. If you're unsure whether your cat is eating the right diet, check with your vet. If you have an unusually lethargic cat, it's time to talk with your veterinarian. Cats are known to be lazy by nature, but unnatural amounts of lethargy could be a sign of illness. If your cat is exhibiting signs of lethargy and decreased energy, make sure to take them to the vet. The vet will check for any medical issues and might also recommend changes to the cat's nutrition if the lethargy happens to be diet related. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you learned some fun tips for activities to do with your furry friends. Remember that exercise, mental stimulation, and bonding time are way more important than spending lots of money on expensive toys. Maybe you've discovered some unique ways of entertaining your furry friend. Let me know in the comments.